What is going on everybody, Fluxo here and welcome to this week's video. Last week I showed you how we went from this rocky canyon into Typhon industry. This week we'll be working on the rear entrance of Typhon where I'll be showing you how to go from floating platforms into something structured that you can be happy with. If you do like this video make sure to like and comment down below, maybe even consider subscribing to follow the content like this on a weekly basis. But without further ado, let's get into this one. We're going to start by adding some simple shape to the build. We can do this by smoothing off these sharp right angled corners. This will almost immediately take away that box feeling in the build and give us something we can work with. I started firstly by removing the right angled corners ready to be smoothed off. Then using the row barrier method I aligned all my corners. From there I filled in each corner and then used vertical mode to bring the shape down for the other three platforms. Next I used practically the same method but this time without removing the corner, instead I aligned the existing corner with the running platform. Again I filled the corner and then used the vertical mode to bring the shape down to the other platforms. Lastly I followed the same technique for the lower platforms. And just like that, we've gone from that box feeling to something with shape and a lot of depth. Next, we need to add some final framework for structure and then also add our central column for our sign. I started off by bringing the existing corners down to where I was going to place my roof platform for the ground floor. This not only continues the shape of the build, but also adds a lot of structure. Once the corners had been successfully brought down, I then added the final platform to roof off for the ground floor. I then continued the same corners up on the top right and then down to the bottom left. This gave me the symmetry and structure to the framework I was looking for. Next for the sign work, I firstly hollowed out my center foundations, adding ramp foundations to the top and the bottom. Then I took a road barrier and placed it centre to the foundation, allowing me to then hold control and replace it with the central wall for the signing to be placed on. Lastly I trimmed the inside with concrete wall to finish. Just like that we have taken our shaped platforms and transformed them into our structured framework with a central column for our sign work. Moving on next, we're going to be adding our pillared walls into the hollowed out sections. From there, we will edge our pillared walls with foundations. And then finally, we will grid the side panel corner to give the build more depth. I had made a 6x7 blueprint for the concrete pillars, which I then used firstly to place the pillars inside the hollowed out sections. From there I used foundation edging to close out the gap between the corner and the pillars. Once that was completed I hollowed out my side panel corner to give the grid a look for additional shape and depth in the build. Lastly I removed the remaining foundation and continued to fill the central column with pillars.
Now we had started to eliminate the blocky feeling to this build, it was starting to pave an outline that we could use to take this build forward. Next up first we'll be adding the sign work. From there I'm going to add some ledges to create shape. And finally we will open the side grids to add depth. First I took the 16x8 large billboard and stacked them on top of each other from the bottom to the top. From there I took the 8x4 small billboard and layered them down the centre of the large billboards. When that was completed, I then changed the large billboard colour to the colour I needed for the background for my text. After that I traced out where my text would be, allowing space in between the text and the fixed side. Once I was happy with my placement, I then found the bracket symbols I needed and then pasted them ready for the letters to be changed. I will again leave the link to the site that I use for all my sign symbols and letters in the description down below. To finish off the sign, I simply copied and pasted the letters I needed into the brackets that were already there. For the top and bottom ledges, I started by firstly shaping them out. I again used road barriers to find my angle before filling in the corners with foundations. Once I was happy with the shape, I brought the edging down via concrete walls to meet the bottom ledge. Now I had replicated the angle of the top ledge, I filled in the bottom and finished off edging with concrete walls. Next I finished off an exposed concrete foundation with coloured concrete walls. To finish the sign, I trimmed the edging and added some final touches. Lastly I started emptying out the first two sections of grids and then added some additional shape to the top of the frame.
After that I made a start on wrapping the exposed foundation with coloured concrete wall. For design and finishing touches, I painted some of the leftover exposed foundation. Last but not least I use asphalt to give depth around the grid and then also trim the edges around the top. Once the edges has been trimmed with asphalt I finished off with some 1 meter concrete wall. This now gives us a clear insight of what slight details the trim can give us whilst looking strong and structured. So the last section we're going to be first adding our bottom ledge and glass screen. We are then going to turn our right hand side panel into a vent. And lastly we will add our side entrance. After bringing down what concrete walls I needed, I then shaped out my bottom ledge using rope barriers. When I was happy with the shape, I brought the concrete wall all the way down to the bottom to get the build its foundation. Next I installed the glass screening by inverting walls into the centre to add shape and then finished by adding the centred glass screening itself. Lastly I finished off this section with some more concrete wall edging and then using foundation to give a structured framework inside. I used foundation to give framework to the side panel before installing the vent. I then removed the fold meter foundation and replaced the entire section with one meter foundation.
then hollowed out one meter foundation lines in the side panel to give the vented effect I wanted. Now I had the effect I wanted, I changed the foundation to asphalt and painted it black to finish. Before I moved on to completing with the side entrance, I added some last minute edging and structuring around the framework. Last but not least I added the side entrance by simply following the style I have around the build using pillars and centered doorways to give depth and a polished look. I lastly hollowed out some pillars and added a fixed side. With the build pretty much now complete, all that's left to do is to add some last minute details. I obtained this by using sign lighting, beams and even some glass work for the gridded side panel.
So there you have it guys, with the last few details been finished off, the build is going to be complete. I do appreciate you all hanging out today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoying the series that is Typhoon Industries. I will leave you some final shots of the build, but as for myself, I'll catch you all in the Discord.